Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you episode 13 of Ace Combat 7, continuing the campaign. I was born downtown, in our capital. When I recall my homeland, my father told the Erusian princess chick. of the city. But home means something different to each and every one of us. Therefore, I've decided to visit every place where our citizens call home. The kingdom of Arugia is a land of diversity. Each region has its own unique and special culture. Yo, in before she's a pilot. What if she's like an ace pilot? Bunker buster. <clears throat> what if she's like the final boss? That'd be kind of... That'd be a nice twist. You have more badass briefing music? Yeah! Dun. Dun, 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 the destruction dun, dun, dun. of one of their arsenal birds has significantly reduced the scale of Arusha's air defense network. Ocean forces have moved into the areas where we gained air superiority and freed over half of the Yuzhian continent. Oh, we missed all that! However, Arusha is feeling the pressure and is reacting by attempting to activate the ballistic missile base in the suburbs of Sierra Plata. For the past 72 hours, they've put the resources and people into action and have already entered the final stages of a launch. The missile silo is deep underground. Oh boy. We'll need a bomber to drop a huge deep penetration bomb in a precise <clears> place. <throat> oh, I thought we were gonna have to fly underneath, that or underground. Is thick with clouds at the moment, so it'll be difficult for a bomber to hit the target accurately. Normally, we'd wait for the weather to clear, but with the situation being what it is, we don't have that option. So, we will be the bomber's eyes and find the missile silo. Okay. We'll all be equipped with targeting pods instead of special weapons. We need you to fly at low altitude and visually identify which silo they're activating, then acquire it with your targeting pod. Once you press the firing switch, the bombers will drop their payload based on the location data provided by the targeting pod. You will need to keep the silo in the center of your sight until the bomb hits its target, or else it will miss entirely. It takes a high level of airmanship to properly guide these bombs to their targets while flying in place. Dude. Actually, we assume the enemy has positioned anti-air artillery and aircraft in the area of operations, so stay alert. I hope I didn't have to block this briefing. We suffered human and material losses <clears throat> in the last battle, so Cyclops Squadron will sit this one out. Trigger, it's up to you to make this work with just Strider Squadron. All right, <clears throat> this is going to be pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, let's check our aircraft tree. Can we afford the F-35? We can, let's get it. I'm not a huge fan of the F-35, but I want to see how its stats compare to the F-18. We might actually take it. What does it come with again? Sod. Oh, the bombs. Nah, see, I'd rather have... Ooh, eight times air-to-ground missiles. Yeah, we're taking these. All right, we can't afford this. We're so close to the F-22, guys. I just need to get about a million, <laughs> a million credits, just about, or a million MRP, whatever, whatever they are. If I can, if I can save up a million, we will have enough for this. Unless I need this too. Whoa, the machine gun moves towards a locked-on enemy within a set range? That's badass! I need that! We have to go down this F-15 tree next, after the F-22. Alright. Alright, that's all we're gonna buy. Let me check and see... A specific oh that's right 
Damn, we can't take those special weapons because we're gonna have the targeting thing. All right. Yo, the F-35 is actually better than the F-18 in everything except speed. Oh no, that's not even true. It is better than it in speed, just we haven't equipped the parts yet. All right, F-35 it is. Okay, so for parts, let's do... We need Queen's Custom. I'm gonna do the fire extinguisher. Um, superior maneuverability. Wait a minute, I'm just now realizing that these all say level one. How do I look? I gotta go back to the aircraft tree and take a look and see if you can actually upgrade these even further. Uh, increased missile load limit. Increased homing. The jammer. Might as well take the de-icing because we're supposed to be a lot of clouds in this one. Alright, and one more thing. Oh, standard missile power. Alright, let's go with that. But I want to check real quick. Can you, like, repurchase these upgrades? No. Okay. So how do you get them to higher levels? Maybe through multiplayer? I don't know. Alright, let's go for it. Strider Squadron, sortie ASAP. Destroy the ballistic missiles. So it's interesting, we're not actually going to be destroying them ourselves. We're going to be, like, laser guiding them. Arusia only has five IRBM silos in total. Therefore, the enemy's made a number of fake silos to try and throw our bombers off the scent. Did you say fake? They're painted to look like the real thing from the sky. Can't tell the difference. The wind of that LRSSG that brought down that arsenal bird. We got the box. You did the terminal. Okay. In order to use Dude, the this thing is hyper maneuverable. First. Try to align the missile silo with a circle in the center of your HUD. When you're lined up, hit the firing switch and the bomb will drop. You're gonna need to keep the silo aligned until the bomb hits. The enemy set up anti-air weapons in multiple locations. We need to work together to take them down. So how am I supposed to tell if they're real? I guess we don't, we just bomb them all. Oh, that was real, okay. Some aircraft coming in on us. This is a serious mission. Was it wise to get a strider to your town? Before 
I'm gonna engage him. I was gonna try and finish him with guns, but this is the last S or the uh, interceptor. I really want to finish them with guns. Gotcha. Okay. Can I paint this from up here? No, I guess not. We just have to hit all of them then. What a pain in the ass. Boom. Okay, so that was fake. How am I missing this thing? Oh, it's got like... F oh, I see. I gotta get this thing with guns. F-35 is actually growing on me right now. This thing's pretty sick. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, there are a lot of aircraft over here. Oh, they're Harriers. And helicopters. Oh crap, I didn't realize we were so low on time. I appreciate that. Alright, we might not have yeah, we might not have time to get all these targets. Yeah, one silo remaining and two possible targets. Alright, we don't have time to engage everything. 
we gotta we gotta try and take these out. Mm, but I want points. Last one. We got a minute and twelve seconds left. Five seconds. Let's take it out. Away. All missile silos have been destroyed. Wait, what the hell is that? What? Alert! We've detected an IRBM launch. Confirmed signature on our radar. Oh crap! Launch site is this dam. Not from the silos. They certainly hit it well. We still have a chance. Shoot it down before it reaches critical altitude. Oh, are you serious? I actually feel like there was a mission like this in Ace Combat uh, Zero, it might have been. New hostiles. All aircraft confirmed. Additional launch confirmed. Incoming. How that does not like blow me out of the skies beyond me. thing. Let's dive a bit and pick up some speed. Now our speed's going down. This is as fast as we can go, I guess. Is that it? Time stopped. Nice. I was cutting it pretty close. I was starting to get a little nervous. Dude, the F-35 is pretty good. I like how maneuverable it is. Like, I can... I can flip this thing really quickly. Not bad. Alright. I still really cannot wait to upgrade to the F-22, though. That thing is... Ugh. It's so sick. We have successfully prevented an enemy ballistic missile attack. Strider Squadron, you did very well without your unit commander. We are now preparing for the final stage of our long-range operation. Seizing the capital. 
Oh yeah, that's gonna be Farbanti, isn't it? Oh, I got an A. All right. Well, we got a quarter million uh, MRP, so we're a quarter of the way towards the F-22. All right, that's going to be it for this one. Um, I'm pretty sure the next episode we're going to be seizing Farbanti, which is a, a mission I've been looking forward to for a long time because, well, there's a mission from Farbanti in Ace Combat 4, so it's going to be cool to see a familiar place. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Mobius1 here, and I'll see you next time.